Redmond was born in Notasauga, Alabama. My counselor at Tuskegee Institute High School, who I was in college prep classes, and she noticed that everybody in that class were receiving acceptances from college, and I wasn't. I had heard students talk about all the colleges they had been accepted to, but I was embarrassed to say I was poor, didn't know where to start um, applying. I knew nobody had any money for me. And then all of a sudden, one day, this high school counselor, Mrs. Branch, came and asked me if I could take a ride with her. She brought me up here to Tuskegee campus and got admissions applications and financial aid applications. She didn't have to do that, but she did that. But I can tell you, coming to Tuskegee was an intellectual, cultural, and personal explosion for me. I've always loved learning, and we had the most wonderful professors here. And so I feel that I got a top education. I, I never felt that I didn't get the education that people at Harvard or UC Berkeley got. I got an, edu an excellent uh, academic education here. Giving back to Tuskegee for me has, has two components. One component has to do with responsibility, and the other has to do with pleasure. I think every person who breathes and lives on this beautiful earth has the responsibility to reach back and help somebody else. In terms of pleasure, I read something last night um, that the eminent associates had put on their brochure. And it was a quote from Booker T. Washington. It says, if you would like to experience happiness, and if you would like to experience pure pleasure, do something for somebody else. But we always set aside $25 or $100 or, you know, and each, as we, our salaries grew, the amount that we were able to give um, grew. And we heard that the university needed help with um, housing. And we were also involved with the Bay Area Tuskegee Alumni Nightclub. I was president for about eight or 10 years, I can't remember. And sometimes the students would come back and they weren't quite used to the housing that Tuskegee was providing. And so when we were retired and could afford a large gift, that's what we said we were going to do. We were gonna give money so that um, some of the rooms could be renovated and we could be able to attract uh, more students. It's about um, Tuskegee being able to survive for my grandkids, my great-grandkids, and great-great-grandkids. A culture of giving. I think that's the key. It's not about how much, because that's going to come if, if you're blessed to be able to make more money. But try to develop a culture of, of giving. That's what I would say if I had the opportunity to speak to the new graduates. To those who have graduated and who are older like I am, I would say it's just as important now as it was 50 or 100 years ago for us to take care of our HBCUs. We have to protect these institutions. We have to help them survive. Thank my parents and grandparents and thank Tuskegee for opening up the world to us.